This is Base the Kid, the hardcore casual in association with the Undefeated Podcast, proudly sponsored by Disturbing Sports London. I'm here with 3 0 prospect Maisie Rose Courtney, fellow South Londoner. Maisie, how you doing? I'm all good. How are you? Can't complain. I can't complain. Listen, I want to delve just a little bit into your background and to see how we've got to this stage. So, how did you kind of start boxing and what was the motivation for you? Um, I started boxing about seven, eight, just turning eight in um, Kibrook, Sam Montague, like hometown, I'm literally around the back of where I live now. And yeah, started there. I just wanted to get fit for football. I was a footballer and I wanted to like, you know, like progress and get fitter and all my mates were going there. Turned out I was better at punching and I was kicking. It stuck and um, yeah, it's just, I've just grew up with a sport, you know, and then I moved clubs and then moved to the Repton and then turned pro and then boxed for England and all this kind of stuff. And yeah, I just kind of stuck with it really. It's just like fighting. Speaking of you like fighting, that's funny because I saw your professional debut. I think I was actually in attendance for that one. And one thing I remember was like, you had all the poise, you had like, all the ability movement but you just wanted to stand right in front of her and tear her head off what, where does that drive come from for you I don't know I don't know I don't know if it's stupid or crazy but <laughs> I just I just love the sport you know I love the art of it as well I love being able to move and not get hit and do all the all the flashy stuff but if someone chins me I'm going to chin them back you know and yeah I just I just love it I love having this hair up but I like having a smart hair up I don't like having a silly hair up where I'm going to get myself in bother you know so yeah just like fighting <laughs> so outside of boxing because obviously as you said you are sort of free and know like your training the aim is to obviously be a superstar make lots of money you know and just push the women's game forward but that's fair to say you're probably not there yet so what do you kind of have to do in order to like get yourself through the training camps you know and have to before you actually get to those paydays like what's the day-to-day like for you it's just every step as it comes you know we like females boxing we're already a few steps behind the fellas so we've got to push ourselves a little bit more and take on them riskier fights and you know like boxing for world titles with six fights or seven fights is unheard of in men's boxing but I mean, that's what we do we push it and we box the best and we become the best and then that's when we create the platform that we have to know and like it's getting there thanks to Katie Taylor's and all them kind of people but it's getting there nowhere near where it should be but slowly but surely so tell me a bit about your opponent that's coming up on the weekend like how much do you know about her and what does this do for you in terms of like you're learning within the sport in the professional game and just growing you to that next step of potential like uh, regional titles you know world titles etc she's good she's tough she's boxed everyone she's boxed everyone in divisions from flyweight to featherweight you know and I'm lucky to um, or grateful even to uh, like share the ring with someone that's boxed everyone you know and now I can see how I compare against her I know how I compare against the others you know so yeah I'm ready ready to go all right so how many more fights this year are you hoping to have after this one or are you just saying look whatever comes my way like I'm happy with I'm probably another two fights maybe an eight rounder then a title shot why not you know as our women move we move quickly but yeah I'm ready to go I'll fight for world title now but and how does it feel without like, being on these kind of cards obviously so early in your career where you're on cards with Dillian White previously Anthony Joshua Katie Taylor like how does that feel like knowing that you've got that kind of promotion and push behind you where they believe that that's the level that you're going to be at moving forward oh, I'm getting used to it a little bit now been on three big cards out of my four fights and yeah getting used to it getting used to it a little bit and I'm enjoying it it's fun it's um I don't know, it feels like where I should be, you know, this is where I've dreamed to be, this is where I wanted to be and now I'm doing it and then now it's from now where I take it to that next level. Well look, long may it continue, last one, what can the fans expect from you on Saturday night? I ain't going in there to have a scrap this time, I've been told I'm not allowed to do that so I'm a little bit more classier, a little bit more, I said this for the last three fights as well to be honest but a little bit more classier, a little bit more you know, showing my skill case, showing what how skilled I am, because I'm talented. At the, I'm talented at the sport, and sometimes it can get lost with all the closing my eyes and swinging my arms. You know. <laughs> Potential stoppage. Hopefully, I'll be the only one to do it, so that would be a good, good on paper. Yeah. Well, look, you've got the whole of South London behind you. Best of luck on Saturday night. Thank you.